All right, hello everyone. Darren Martin with ProMagicArt.com. Today's video, I'm going to show you uh, a new routine that I'm I'm working on, and it's uh, is how it goes. You have the four aces, then you have uh, two selected cards, okay, which you will control to the top, and uh, all you have to do is. Uh, I'll show you a simple control you can do, actually. Okay. Just uh, <clears throat> control the first card to the top, and then the second card you just do a bluff pass. So when they take out a card, let's say they said stop there, right? You, uh, you show this, and you've already got the first card controlled on the top. You're going to do the bluff pass, so as you turn to the side here, you're just going to, because uh, you just riffle, and they can see that. So as they're showing a card around, you just casually steal this here. Now there's a lot of subtlety that I use in here. I, I bevel the deck. A lot of guys don't, but this is much stronger. You bevel the deck, because the thickness thereof. They put the card back, and then I do uh, the subtlety right here of Scott. My old friend Scott Vivier, a uh, magician from Las Vegas. And uh, he came up with this many, many years ago, 20, 30 years ago. And what it is, is it's using the kick cut as a bluff pass subtlety, and I think it's the best uh, bluff pass subtlety that I've ever seen. And, uh, he's one of my one of my best friends growing up in Magic, and uh, he came up with this, so we'll give credit to him. As you come down, you're going to do the kick cut, okay? And that will give it the appearance like you've slapped half the deck on there, okay? So that's a, uh, there's many controls you can do, that's a simple one there. And then what you're going to do is when you show the aces, uh, you're going to secretly add this on. There's many different types of add-ons. I'll just use uh, this one here, which is to, uh, as you get a pinky break under two, you're going to scoop under. This is uh, based on a versus switch of John Carney. You're going to come over and uh, you're going to add this to the bottom. Okay. So what you will now do is you will take these two, as you're showing these, you'll put these on the bottom. Okay. This is how you can do an Escanio. I use uh, the Scanio spread of, uh, what's his name? I forget his name. It's a version of uh, oh, Gary Willette. That's right. Okay, you come over here. And it's called the Paradise Scanio spread. And it's like this. Okay. So you start like you're doing the Scanio, but then you come forward and back. What that does is basically gets these back to the bottom. The cards are still in this order of. Uh, black, red, black, red, then the two selections, okay? So, it's a little fancy way to show the aces using the uh, Gary Willette Paradise's Canyon Spread. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to thumb over two, and I'm going to take a double lift off the bottom, and which isn't, you know, they see they see the ace of spades on bottom, so it isn't uh, unnatural. You come over, you do a double lift, you show the ace of spades, have them put their hand on top, Okay, you then going to take another double off, okay, and there you have a double, you're going to set that down. So what you have here, the two readies, is they think of the black, this is almost like a uh, Dr. Daly's last trick effect. Now, as you tell them to put their hand on top and as you're pattering and such, you're going to do a criss twist over here, okay, because what you have is you have two black aces and the two select selected cards, right? So you make a criss twist as you do an all-around square, so it doesn't look like you're doing anything because you're just using your pattern. But what you're doing is you've secretly reversed that so you can do a visual color change in a moment. Um, you're going to take the top card from the top to the bottom. You're then going to make a spin to reveal, at which point you want to do the magical pass, reveal that the black aces have jumped into your hand. Okay, you then going to make a real quick uh, radical change of Ed Marlowe. And I usually do this standing up, so what you do is uh, as you thumb this over, you're going to take this, okay, the bottom card off, okay, and what this will do is it will show the two, now you're going to just switch them so that you can do a spinning lift here so you can show the back you're going to cop this off. You'd be standing up, okay? The misdirection is undercover as they turn over the red aces. You spin this, you're going to cop off the bottom ace, 
and you're going to do a throwdown switch of, uh, I'm not sure whose it is, I, I learned it from Jamie Grippo, but you're going to do a throwdown switch to steal that card off. So I'm doing it upside down, as you'll see. So this would be done standing. As you're spreading this off, you're going to be copying. So from an exposed angle, you're copying that one. This one is thrown down, throw down switch. So by this point, you have an ace here and an ace here, but it looks like you're done. It looks like you're totally clean. At that point, you can reach into your pocket, because you'd be standing up and it'd be easier. And you'd uh, pull out the black aces from the pockets. So that's hard to do sitting down, so it would be done standing up. So that's my little spin-off of the Dr. Dealer's last trick. Hope you enjoy it. Please uh, like, subscribe, and share, and go to ProMagicArt.com to get the premium uh, magic.